of people misunderstand this and get it wrong. They think that we are being punished for the sin of Adam. We are not being punished for the sin of Adam. We have the nature of Adam. What is the meaning of the word incarnate, incarnation? The word incarnation, assumption of human nature. Incarnation means that Son, the God, the second person of the Holy Trinity, took to himself the very body and the very soul of man, i.e. took to himself the complete nature of man and became a true man. For God to communicate his messages to us, he had to become a man. For God to speak to us direct, we would never understand who God would be. There is many other religions. Christianity is not a religion. You've heard it from his grace, from the fathers here. It's a life, it's a relationship for God reached out to us. There's other religions who spent hundreds of years trying to work out who God is, man-made, putting rules on paper and assuming who God is. And they will never find the one true God for it is a man trying to reach out God and it's impossible. In Christianity, it was God who reached out to mankind. Now, for God to speak to us, we would never understand what he was saying. He had to become a man so that he can hold, and he had to be 100% God and 100% man. And the reason for that, so he can hold the hand of God the Father and hold our hand and bring us back to God. For us to understand who God is, he had to become a man like us. He had to become a man like us. Hebrew 4.15 For we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses, but was in all points tempted as, as we are yet without sin. So the only difference for Jesus Christ being as a man like us, he had no sin. We had sin. Now the question comes, why did Jesus Christ, he did not have any sin? What makes him different to us? I was born of a man and a woman, true? My father and mother got married and they gave birth to me. Jesus Christ was born of a virgin. You see, the sin of Adam, the seed of Adam is in every single man or woman who is born of a man and woman so for example i could be wrong but if there was doctors here maybe they would correct me if a husband and wife god forbid far away from everyone that is listening and everyone else if they had aids and they give birth to a child there's a high chance 90 percent chance that the baby will also have aids and so on then that child will grow up and get married and the sin or the AIDS will be in their blood going down. So in the human blood, there was the sin of Adam. A lot of people misunderstand this and get it wrong. They think that we are being punished for the sin of Adam. We are not being punished for the sin of Adam. We have the nature of Adam, meaning we're inclined to do sin. We always think of ourselves and we are inclined to follow our own thoughts and way of life. A little child, as soon as he starts to understand, he will start fighting over toys, saying, this is mine, and this is yours. And this is what happened with Adam and Eve. They were like children. When the Lord told them not to eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and bad, they disobeyed God. Therefore, anybody that is born of a man and woman, they carry that nature of Adam. What did they have? They had sons and daughters Adam and Eve some of you might think that the Bible doesn't say they had any daughters well this is where we say that the church history there is so much deep church history that we believe that Cain and Abel both of them when they were born each one of them the church fathers say had a twin sister how did the world come to increase Abel was born with him a twin sister and Cain also had a twin sister, but they did not marry the one that was born with them. They married the opposite. God allowed it on the first, you know, at the days of creation for them to increase. 
And then murder came after that. Disobedience brought murder, brother killing brother, and so on. And that's how the sin increased in the world. So anybody that is born of a man and woman has the inclination to, in, we're inclined to do sin. We have the nature of Adam. Now Christ came, he did not have the seed of Adam. That is why he had to be born of a Virgin Mary. He had to be born of a Virgin Mary, so therefore he had no sin.